hello guys in this video we will discuss about the hsg hysterosalpingography in patients with tuberculosis so uh, what is uh, the uh, ideally we should not do hsg in patients with uh, tuberculosis but in case of um, sometimes we end up doing uh, hsgs and uh, later on finding it to be a uterus uh, who has suffered uh, with the tuberculosis and uh, it can manifest in the form of adenexa, uh, adenexal tuberculosis like the fallopian tubes may might get involved or uh, it can present in the form of the endometrial uh, tuberculosis so and very rarely it can be cervical tuberculosis and vulvovaginal tuberculosis is very very rare so the most common part to get involved in tuberculosis in female gender tuberculosis is fallopian tube the 90 percent cases that is uh, involved 90 to 100 percent cases also and the, the endometrium is involved in 50 to 60 percent cases so this is very classic picture t-shaped uterus so this is very classic picture of uh, the patient suffering from uh, female gender tuberculosis when the uterus is involved because of extreme constriction of the uterine cavity scarring of the uterine cavity it has got the t-shaped appearance Second picture is showing the uterine synechia because the, you can see these dye pocketing here and these are the uterine synechias which can be easily seen. This is another picture which is showing the uterine synechia. This is a picture which is showing the hydrosalpinges. So they are you can see the dilated, crowded, coiled tubes. So this is suggestive of hydrosalpinges. So this picture this radiograph is showing the corkscrew appearance of the tubes so here you can see this is the corkscrew and the corkscrew appearance of the tubes can be easily seen which is characteristically seen in patients with tuberculosis in this picture you can see here this is salpingitis isthmica nodosa like appearance sin is in this in sin what happens is the mucosa of the isthmus it forms diverticula and it goes into the muscular part of the fallopian tube so that especially in the isthmic region so that is the isthmica salpingitis isthmica nodosa okay so that full form only tells salpingitis means any inflammation of the any uh, tube salpings means tube and isthmica means because it is involving the isthmic region and nodosa okay so it is sin like picture you can see here and here you can see the rosary bead appearance why this rosary bead appearance come because of alternatively the tube is getting dilated and constricted here you can see the constriction here you can see the dilation so the contrast when goes in the tube because of alternate this constriction and dilation it gives a appearance of rosary bead rosary bead appearance it gives and in this picture in here you can see the loculated spill of contrast why it becomes loculated because sometimes the paratubal adhesions does not lead the contrast to have a free peritoneal spill so that leads to the uh, appearance of loculated spill so this is the typical picture of a patient suffering from gentle tuberculosis the same thing here it is shown the rosary bead appearance the alternative dilation and constriction of the fallopian tube here you can see another characteristic picture of um, patient with tuberculosis uh, sh uh, that is seen in HSG picture. This radiograph is showing you tobacco pouch appearance. Why this tobacco pouch appearance comes because of the ampullary dilation. Okay, this is ampulla and it is get, getting dilated and giving it a picture of tobacco pouch appearance. Another picture, this is a cotton wool plug appearance. This is also seen in the patients with tuberculosis. So, because the distribution of dye in a reticular pattern giving it a cotton wool plug appearance. Rigid pipe stem appearance is an also seen in patients with tuberculosis. As you can see, this is the pipe stem. Here, the tubes are like pipe stem. Okay. So, this happens because the tubes are uh, because of the paritubal adhesions. They become the tubes are the normal motility of the tubes is restricted and it gives the appearance of pipe stem now you can see here the hello sign what is the hello sign as you can see this is the loculated collection 
this thing is a loculated collection here also here also and this is the ampullary end okay this is the ampullary end of the tube so halo sign comes between the loculated collection and the dilated ampullary end so it gives the typical halo sign appearance okay because of dilated ampullary end and loculated spill of contrast another picture which is seen in hsg is sperm head appearance as you can see here the sperm head appearance what is the sperm head appearance is it, it is because of the vertically oriented fixed tubes with ampullary dilation this is the ampulla and it is getting dilated and the tubes are vertically oriented and they are fixed because of paratubal adhesions whenever the paratubal adhesions will be there the tubes are not able to that normal motility of the tubes is restricted another is golf club appearance golf club appearance is again because of the fixed tubes this as you can see here the tubes are fixed and they are blocked which is giving this this is the ampulla which is getting here the tube blockage is seen and giving it typical this is a golf club appearance now we discussed about the um, the fallopian tube uh, images in uh, tuberculosis now it is the endometritis as you can see the endometrium also gets involved as i already told in 50 to 80% cases the endometrium can also get involved in the tuberculosis although fallopian tube is the most common thing so here you can see the irregular endometrial cavity here you can see the endometrial cavity is irregular it is suggestive of endometritis here this is a typical picture in which you can see the severely scarred and obliterated uterine cavity you cannot see even the obliterated so the cavity is so scarred that it is even obliterated and all the contrast which is being injected has refluxed into the vagina you can see here and there are multiple calcified densities in the pelvis which represent the calcified lymph nodes okay so this is also a typical picture of endometrial tuberculosis with calcified lymph nodes Uh, there is something known as pseudo unicornuate uterus as we discussed the actual unicornuate uterus will look like a banana it will look like a banana and one tube will be patent in the unicornuate uterus and with the spill you can see in that but if sometimes the opacification of like here you can see one side opacification happens then it gives it an appearance of unicornuate uterus when actually it is not so like in this picture you can see opacification of left tube with blunting of right cornua so it is giving it a unicornuate appearance although it is not because of the scarring of the uterine cavity again the same picture i uh, showed uh, in the last video also the contrast extravasation so this contrast extravasation is because of the blockage and uh, dye getting into the vessels so thank you all so this was all the pictures this was all the uh, things which we always read into the into books these all uh, typical uh, funny funny words about the hsg picture and uh, so i hope now it is clear to you thank you